Good day and welcome to today's Meekit Minute. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own drawing template that consists out of drawing predefined views as well as automatically inserting the dimensions. Right, so let's get started. So I'm going to go File New. Let's select this template. I've already created one that has a Meekit logo onto it. And let's just cancel this command for now. So what I want to do is I want to add the predefined view. So a quick easy way is just right click anywhere on the drawing page. There you've got drawing views and then there's an option called predefined. I'm going to place the first view which is going to represent my front. So I'm going to place it somewhere there. The moment I place it now I, can need to, now I need to define what plane or view it needs to be. In this case it's going to be the front. And you'll see that from there the scale is set to use sheet scale. I'm happy with that, click OK there, and there we go. Then I want to do some projected views from this front. So I'm going to go to the projected view command and I'm going to project a view upwards, which is going to be the top view, then one to the right. But then also I want to have an isometric view. Now you'll see that the moment that I take it out, there's an alignment and I can't really move it away, only in that direction. So holding in the control key actually breaks the alignment. You can place it wherever you like, and I'm done with it. Press escape to cancel the command. All right, so now I've got a front, I've got a top, a right, and the isometric view. But in this case, my isometric view, I want that to be shown as shaded with edges. So I'm going to turn that on, click OK, and there we go. All right, so then the final thing that I want to do is I want to automatically add the dimensions. So I'm going to go to my options command. Under the document properties, under detailing, there's an option called dimensions marked for drawing. I'm going to turn that on. Click OK. And now I just need to go and save my drawing. So I'm going to file, save as, but now instead of saving it as a drawing, I need to save it as a drawing template. All right, let's call it, say, MeCAD template. Save it, and there we go. All right, so now let's test it. So let's close this drawing. I'm going to take this part, and I'm going to make a drawing using my own template. File, make drawing from part, select my MeCAD template, click OK, and there it adds the views with all the needed dimensions. And then the final thing I want to do is I just want to clean it up a little bit. So nice, quick, easy ways, multi-select all your views with the dimensions included. Then right-click on any one of those dimensions. Then go to the option line and do uh, auto arrange. And they will clean it up a little bit for you. But then sometimes it might have certain dimensions that you don't want on a view and you want to move it to a different location or a different view. Say for instance, the 75. Quick, easy way, instead of deleting it and creating it manually afterwards, you can actually just hold in the shift key, drag that dimension out from that view onto that view, and you'll see that it actually removes it from that view and it places it to that view. So that's when you hold in the shift. If you hold control and you drag, it makes a copy. And now I've got a combination of both. Right, and then that's it 